bariatric surgery patients aged 65 years and older were no more likely to die or suffer major adverse events after 30 days than younger patients, based on data from more than 48,000 adults. Well, certainly uh, obesity is uh, just as prevalent in older patients as it can be in younger patient groups. And as patients continue to age, uh, obesity within that population group has continued to rise. And patients over the age of 65 that are obese are going to continue to present at bariatric surgical clinics, and surgeons are going to have to evaluate their risk for undergoing bariatric surgery. We found first that patients over the age of 65 are undergoing more bariatric surgical procedures as the years have gone on. We looked at years between 2005 and 2009, and in 2005, patients over the age of 65 made up 1.7% of the total bariatric procedures, while in 2009 it increased to nearly 5% of the total procedures. We also found that patients over the age of 65 and then uh, over the age of 70 are undergoing more laparoscopic band placements and less laparoscopic Roux-en-Y gastric bypasses. Ultimately, uh, when looking at risk factors for mortality, we found that age was not significantly uh, predictive of mortality, although it did approach significance. And it could be due to the overall low incidence of mortality within the database altogether. Um, but uh, we certainly found that patients over the age of 65 are not at uh, a statistically increased risk for uh, death following bariatric surgery within the first 30 days. If it's a patient with a BMI over 35 and they have two, type 2 diabetes, but otherwise their comorbidities are uh, non-existent, then you could certainly have a big benefit on them if you can treat their diabetes with surgery. Um, however, if, if it's a patient over 65 and they have um, severe cardiac comorbidities or pulmonary comorbidities um, or other uh, uh, increased significant uh, systemic illnesses, then uh, that person's going to have to be assessed on an individual basis and it may not be a candidate for this uh, type of surgery. For Global Medical News Network, I'm Heidi Spleed. 